One of the best ways to learn Django Web Framework is by working on projects. If you build quickly a project, you will definitely learn something. In order to make most of the process, you will need to actually use your own projects. Or even better, there should be other person using your project. If you or any other person will use your application, you will inevitably see its shortcomings. You will eventually improve a thing here, a thing there, and most importantly, you will work on code you wrote some time ago. No book or no other source code will boost so much your programming skills as working with your own code which you wrote even a week ago. Because you will notice by simple observation that if you don't add comments in your own code, even after a week, you will have hard times remembering the context. Similar thing is for variable names. A meaningful variable name is as valuable as one page of documentation. With all that being said, let's build a real-world Django application that will be useful for everybody. One thing that every person should do is to keep track of its expenses. Keeping track of your own expenses is a valuable skill. So in upcoming screencasts, we'll build an expense tracker from scratch. I'll name it XP Tracker. XP Tracker will keep track of personal expenses like groceries, rent, insurances and so on and so forth. It will generate reports like monthly expenses and annual expenses. Besides building usual UI interface, we will build a REST API interface and even will add a REST API client for it. For building XP Tracker, we will use best practices of software development. We will work on small iterations which will be paired with QA sessions, unit testing and what is very important, we will do frequent deployment. One part of software development which is frequently overlooked by developers is writing high-quality documentation. There will be screencasts about writing good documentation for XP Tracker as well. There are three ways to deploy a Django application. First is deploying it as online service. In this mode, there is no difference in how it is used in production if compared to development environment. Another way of deploying web application is so-called multi-tenant mode. Multi-tenant application is also available as SaaS service. It sort of isolates copies of the same application into kind of namespaces. The third way to deploy web application is by using Docker. After first iteration of XP Tracker development, we will deploy in all these three modes. This way you will learn a lot about deployments in general. Let's focus on requirements, or what we actually plan to build. The heart of XP Tracker is a table like the one you see here. Every time I spend money on something, I will add an entry in this table. So for example, on 1st of May, I paid $37 for electricity bill. On 2nd of May, I paid a visit to grocery store where I spent $52. Whenever we spend money on something, money flows from one place into another. In first example, or first transaction, Money flowed, so to speak, from my bank account into grocery store account. The concepts of account and transactions are the heart of XP Tracker. Each account has an amount of money associated with it. In this example here, my bank account starts with $1000. And other two accounts, like utilities and groceries, start with zero. During first transaction, this one here, $37 moved from this account or my bank account into utilities account. So after first transaction, bank account will have $37 less and utilities account will have $37 more. Similar thing is for next two transactions, where money are deducted from bank account, which will have less and less money and moved into groceries account, which will have more and more money. Word account can mean different things in different contexts. Same word account can mean user account for authentication and bookkeeping account like groceries. To remove this confusion, I will use XP account to refer to bookkeeping accounts. Similar situation is for word transaction. When I'll refer to transaction in the sense of bookkeeping transaction, I will use word XP transaction. This way you will not confuse this with term database transaction. In next screencast, we will start a Django project from scratch. And along the way, we will discuss best practices for Django project structure and important files which should be in every Django project. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.